you should be, Maureen. Then I'm taking our Ashley to a golf club for his lesson. His lesson. Then I'll meet you at the restaurant. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, I'll do it here. The pressure will sharpen me appetite. Bye bye. Now then, by rights, we are short. But for a pretty lady, I can always produce them a choice. <laughs> Is Ashley in? Yeah. Hi, Monty. Hiya. I just wondered whether he fancy going out tonight. He can't. He can't? Why can't he? Because this evening I am giving him his instruction. Teaching him the rudiments of the royal and ancient game. Well, I've already given him lessons myself. Now then, Miss Bold, no golf lessons. So that one day, when all this is, is, he'll be able to keep the lady of his choice in the best of Weatherfield social circles. It's all your age, you see. But I can see you later, can you, Uncle Fred? Oh, aye, I've got to date myself. Nine o'clock at Rovers. I suppose I'll have to do. But don't be late. And don't tie yourself out on the golf course. Ah, yeah, actually. It's a good job you work in this shop. A vegetarian be no use to her. I don't know why you want to come drudging here. And on an evening shift. I mean... Well, it's part of the job. Anyway, I don't get many evening shifts. Oh, did I tell you? I'm on checkout now. No, brilliant. Come on, Alma. I bet you'd rather be coming to play golf with me. No, I happen to like this job. You just have to find yourself a new partner. Hi, Curly. I have a new partner, him. What, Curly? Yep, I'm going to be teaching him the game. Well, you see, Eric's always on a me, you know, to start playing golf. And he's quite right. And I will be giving you brilliant lessons. Uh, just in golf, I hope, not personnel management. All part of the wonderful game, sweetheart. Happy till bashing. Listen, Curly, Top something I want to tell you. If you have to make Alma redundant, it won't affect our beautiful friendship. Well, that shouldn't happen. She is very capable. Eric Furman thinks so, and, well, I agree with him. No, you're missing the point, Sunshine. If you have to sack her, I won't be upset, OK? <laughs> well, this is a small world. I said this is a small world. Hello, Fred. I didn't see you there. I didn't know you were a golfer. I am not. Uh, not yet. Michael here has given me a starter lesson. Well, that is amazing. I'm giving young Ashley here his starter lesson. <laughs> Sheward! I think there's cause for a drink. Of course, and more than that. How about a foursome, eh? And uh, a little wager on the side to make it interesting. You and your novice against me and my novice. You're on. Fifty quid too much for you. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute, though. Uh, my handicap's 24. What's yours? Oh, same as yours. I play off 24 as well. I thought you said you was 18, Uncle Fred. No, no, Ashley. Don't be stupid. 18's be collar size. With that shirt, I don't understand the game. I'm not playing for money. You're not. Neither is, neither is Mr. Watts. Good. No, it's just Mr. Morgan and I play for a money. Fifty quid not too rich for your blood? Nah, it's only money. Ah, ah, that's right. Uh, Stuart! Uh, listen, Michael, you do realise that I'll be totally useless to you. Don't fret, it's only a game. If we can't beat a couple of butchers, then I'm going to hang my clubs up. I might be hopeless. You will be hopeless. But you'd be more use than Curly Watts. I know him, no eye for a ball, and about as much coordination as a newt in a barrel of bitter. Stuart, we want some lubrication down this end. Uncle Fred. Just pay attention, lad, and do what I tell you. Right, yeah, but I'd just like to remind you, I do have to be back at Rose in time, ain't Max E? C. Get your mind off trivialities. This is important. There's money at stake. Now, you're here to enjoy yourself. Just relax. I hope you're not relying on me to help you win some money. Look, never mind about the money. Now, we're going to take all turn of shots, right? Whatever you say. So I'm going to hit the ball up the fairway. When we get to where it is, you hit it. Then me again. All right? I've never even held one of these things before. Oh, you're a natural. I can tell by the way you're holding it. Let's get the show on the road, right? Where do I go? Over there. Right. Yeah, and when
when you get hit one as sweet as that, which you will be able to do very soon, you'll be hooked for life. Let's go get it. <laughs> if that fellow's got the handicap of 24, my name's Rupert. Yeah, I expect that's his cap size. Come on, son, hit it. Ah. Oh. This is hopeless. No, no, you're improving all the time. Keep at it, keep at it. You brought it! Ha, ha, ha! Now, this is where we get in from, Ashley. Now, watch this. Watch and learn. You hooked that, Fred? Be in the rough, that. The crack here, Curly. See you on the green! <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing now, Uncle Fred. Only I don't think I'll be as brilliant as you. That wasn't quite what was intended, Ashley. It was your fault, you're moving, I was swinging. Oh, sorry. Did you see where the ball finished up? No, not really. I was studying your swing. Come on. The game's slipping away, lad. It's time for brilliant strategy. Found it! Hey? Our ball, it's in this long grass here. It's sort of stuck under a twig. Put it in your pocket and come here. This is our ball. Oh, see, it was there all the time. That's cheating. It's no such thing. It's strategy. This game, lad, it's like life. You can be too nice for your own good. Now grab hold of this glove and give it a good belt in that direction. I have to say this, I don't like it. This life, lad, you have to do things you don't like. You think that fella Baldwin is playing by book? Huh? <laughs> this is self-defense. I said self-defense. Now, like I said, give it a good whack. For this, I'm showing you, it's all part of your lesson. I didn't know. You're not going to make me sing that as good as in. Nothing's in until it drops. The old hours, man. Admit it, old poor ass. Can't, can't get it in from over there. He might, and you might miss. I could never be a bad loser, me. Come on, Curly Top, roll it in. He can't even see the Do old. you mind? Well, it's a tie against me. Game's ours. Yes! Great shot! This is a brilliant game, Michael. This is a brilliant game. How uh, much are they, Fred? Like hell it is. I've got to put you to half the match. Not in my arithmetic. It is in mine. I think this, and we're all square. <coughs> Can I have square dealing? Is that too much to ask? Keep Show sure that I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hard luck, mate. Funny old game, isn't it? Fifty quid. Mind you, what's fifty quid? A far sight less than you paid for that putter, I bet. <laughs> Uncle Fred. What? Can we get going over late for Maxine? That's your bad luck. I'm going to have a couple of stiff drinks before I do out else. Do you want to lift home, sunshine? Yeah, please, Mr. Bowen. Yeah, but then. Hey! Hey! Aren't you going to take me loose a bit more tar? Traitor! The last three lessons you get off me! Come on. Come on. Where are you, you useless thing? Uh, oh. Well, I'll find you. I'll, 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 
I'll fling you. I'll f ah! There, gotcha. See what you have done. Mm. Do you think he's escaped from somewhere? Mm. 